Hey everyone, Christy with Anchor Life 5. Thanks for stopping by and joining me for a few minutes today. I have some Valentine paper clips um, that I have recently made and I wanted to share them all with you and give you a few little uh, tips and tricks of how I make um, some of my paper clips and different things that you can do. Um, so let's get started. So all of these are kind of Valentine um, related. The first one, I use these really, really cute little felt stickers, and I got these from Hobby Lobby, and I got them last year, um, but they do still have them, so um, check them out if you are interested. Um, but what I did was I just stuck two together and hot glued them, stuck the paper clip inside, and now they're double-sided. Whoops, there's that one. This one is super, super adorable. This is a cute little... Um, this is also a little sticker from Hobby Lobby. Um, it is in their Valentine section. Now what I did was I took little googly eyes and I, I hot glued the little googly eyes on there and just stuck a nice round circle on the back to cover it up. Here's another one of those kind of stickers. This is an owl. It already came with, did it come with the googly eyes? Yes, it did. Um, same thing. These right here, I believe these came from Hobby Lobby also. Um, once again, I just stuck two back to back. I like the double-sided um, paper clips. That's just, that's just me. Um, these are tiny little conversation heart foam stickers. And I did the same thing. Just stuck a paper clip in them. And back to back, I got little glue strands everywhere. Um, this is another one of the the foam stickers, double-sided. There's another one of the little conversation hearts. Um, now these, I got these from, I think, the Target Dollar Spot this year. Um, they're silver and they're red. Um, here's a couple of them. So I did a couple of them. Um, these right here are both just red. These are kind of kind of fabric-y feeling. Um, they're puffy stickers. No, they're not stickers, they're just hearts. And I just stuck them back to back. And then these, I just did one side silver and one side, raw. Wow, that one's double silver, and that one's silver and red. Um, here's another one of these. These are little red wooden hearts that I got actually for Christmas time. Um, and I did the same thing. I just glued them back to back to make them double sided. And then there are these. This one is one of the um, the mermaid scales, the sequins that go up and down. I believe these came from Target this year. Um, and all I did was I just cut a little bit. I need to clean this up, clean up that glue. But I just cut a little slit and hot glued and it works perfect. Same with these. And then lastly, here are these adorable um, puffball pom-poms. These are super, super easy to make. All you need is the puffball. These came from, I think, the Target Dollar Spot last year. Um, and I will show you how to do these. But these are so super easy to make and you know you can use them for everything they look great out of planners um, travelers notebooks everything so there we go those are all the ones that I made and now I'm going to show you how I made some of these all right let's see so here is this one this one is one of the um, the little felt pieces, and it does have this um, stickiness on the back. So what I did with this is I just I peeled this part off, just peeled it off completely, and I'm going to get a scrap piece of paper, use my circle punch. 
There we go. Now just take your paper clip, stick it right on the back of it. I like to, to glue my, my circle instead of directly on my, um, my paper clip that I'm making. So just hot glue and stick it kind of in the center and just press down. And there is that one. Super simple, super easy. Here is that one. And then the next one we're going to do is a um, actual sticker. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add little googly eyes to this one because I, I like the googly eyes. Um, I have lots of different <laughs> different kinds. I actually have two little containers right here. You can get these from the Dollar Tree. You can get these from Target. You can get these from Michaels, um, Hobby Lobby, anywhere. But I have all different sizes. Um, these are colored ones. These are small black ones with eyelashes. These are co small colored with eyelashes. These are like medium ones with eyelashes. Um, and these little containers come from Dollar Tree as well. And then I have this one that just has all different colored googly eyes. So actually, I think I'm gonna use, instead of the ones that I picked out, I forgot that I had these. So let's see if these, since we're doing Valentine's Day. Um, so I had picked out these little tiny ones with the eyelashes, but I think I actually might use these with the little hearts. So I like to use tweezers for these because, you know, the hot glue, yeah, I think the hearts are going to be too much, so we're going to go back to these. So just take your hot glue and stick a little dab. I like to stick these on the sticker because, you know, I don't want to burn myself. just a small little dot and you can position the eyes whichever way if you want them looking you know kind of looking at each other looking away from each other anything so just adds a little little bit of extra cuteness to it now here's a little trick for you this container right here is just baby powder Johnson & Johnson baby powder and it can be one of your best friends when you're making paper clips with stickers. So instead of having to cut out a circle like I just did with this one and cover up the back, um, I am going to actually take the stickiness away from this. I'm, st I'm actually still going to need the circle <laughs> for the back, but I peel it off and it is, it is sticky. So what I have is just a makeup brush. This one's from Dollar Tree and my baby powder. Take a little bit on your makeup brush and just brush it on the back of your sticker. Smells really good too, but. And what that does is it completely takes away all the stickiness from the back of your sticker. Now you have the same back as this. It works awesome. Love, 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 love this trick. So now I need a smaller circle for the back. So I have my other, ooh, that one's making me work. So I'm gonna take, I'm kinda gonna make this one a little crooked. Well, yeah. So we're just going to take the exact same thing as we did with this other one, put some hot glue on it, and stick down. And there we go. Sorry, I got a new position for my camera, so 
All right, now the next one we're gonna do is we are going to do these little conversation hearts. Now, if you don't want them double-sided, you can just simply do the same thing as I just did with this one. Use the baby powder, take the stickiness off, and stick it on there. But if, if I have two that are the same shape, backwards and forwards, I like to make them double-sided. So if they're pretty sticky, you don't even need hot glue. Peel it off, stick your paper clip in. If you want to add a dab of hot glue, you can, but most times I, I don't because these are like, I mean, it's stuck to my finger. They're super sticky. And just line it up as best you can. Stick them together really, really well. And there you go. Now you have a double-sided paper clip. All right. The next one is these, these felt hearts. These are stickers as well. Same thing. You can use the baby powder, but I like them double-sided. So put my paper clip right down there. If they're not super sticky, I would go ahead and add a little bit of hot glue, but all of these, I think I'm going to be okay without. So I'm just going to line it up once again like I did the other ones. Oh, that went down too fast. Isn't that the way it works when you do a tutorial on something? Alright, there we go. And there we go. All right, here is another one. These are the little foam ones. Once again, so I'm going to peel this off. And since these have, um, you know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to cut off these sticks um, because I think they kind of look cuter without it. There we go. Looks kind of like a donut hole now <laughs> instead of a lollipop. I don't know. It just kind of looks a little weird. We're going to cut this one off too. And when you're doing two back to back, you want to make sure that you got them kind of, you know, you don't want this one upside down. So, you know, make sure they're going the same way. super easy to make adorable paper clips. And then we've got these. These are the little um, fabric hearts that I got from, from Target. So I'm just going to stick my paper clip down in the middle of it, take my hot glue, make sure you get enough on that paper clip because you don't want the paper clip coming apart. And then take it and stick it on top. Make it even with the other side. Woo! And that hot glue came out. Yowzas. So if you have that problem where your hot glue oozes out a little bit, no big deal. You can wait till it dries or you can just take something and kind of just, you know, you probably don't want to use your fingers. All you crafters know, you know, we all got burnt. Fingerprints. I probably added way too much because now I got all these little glue strings everywhere. And things like this are easy, easy, easy to clean up. You can just simply pick, or once they dry, you can just cut them. So. Here we go, that is that one. And now with these two. So these are the that little puffy heart that I showed you earlier with the sequence that goes up and down. So what I did with this was I just took my scissors. I tried to use my um, X-Acto knife and it was really, really hard to cut, but you can try it and you might have better luck. I just took my scissors right here and I am simply gonna cut a little slit and I'm just trying to use the back part of the fabric right here. 
just enough to get a paper clip in there. And I'm going to test it just to make sure that it's wide enough. See? That's perfect. So, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put the hot glue on my paper clip. I'm going to just do a little bit on both sides. And then I'm going to take this slit. And I'm actually going to use my tweezers right here to kind of open it up just a little bit. Come on. There we go. And slide that on in there. And that way I'm not getting glue everywhere. And look how perfect that looks. Absolutely perfect. And then the last one, these are some of my favorite ones. I love using the pom poms to make paper clips. I think that they are super adorable the way that they look when they turn out I mean these are just so stinking cute so all you do with this kind of fluff it up a little bit and then you're gonna want to I mean you can pretty much just pull apart and find like a good a good spot um, You know, just kind of pull apart, find a good spot, kind of open it up some, take your hot glue, put it on the tip of your paper clip. I like to do both sides. Right there where I opened it up, I'm just going to kind of shove it in there as far as I can. And then I'm going to squeeze. I'm going to squeeze my pom-pom together to get that hot glue to stick and then just simply fluff it fluff it back up there you go look at that super easy you can't even tell where it went in there we go so that is it guys I appreciate y'all stopping by and joining me don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Um, check out my Etsy shop. Um, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. It's all Anchor Life 5. And until next time, bye guys.